In today's video, I'm going over how to transfer your Bitcoin and other cryptocurrency from your Coinbase account to either another mobile wallet or to your hardware wallet. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Eric of Investing Apps TV. And on this channel, we talk investing apps, investing tutorials, and investing principles. So if you're new here today, definitely feel free to subscribe to catch future tutorials just like this one. All right guys, so with that being said, let's start with today's tutorial. So here we are now guys inside the Coinbase dashboard and I'm now going to show you how easy it is to transfer your cryptocurrency to either another mobile wallet or to your Trezor hardware wallet from your Coinbase account. So what you're going to want to first do is select which cryptocurrency do you want to send. <clears throat> Again, you could choose from, you want to click on your accounts and do you want to send Bitcoin? Do you want to send Bcash? Do you want to send Ethereum or do you want to send Litecoin? In today's video example, I'm going to be sending Litecoin to my Trezor wallet. So what you want to do is click on Litecoin and you want to click on send right here, the send button. Now it's going to ask you to enter a recipient address. This is the address that you want to send your Litecoin to. But again, this process I'm showing you can be done for Bitcoin as well or for Ethereum also. So what you're going to want to do is select your receiving address. So to do that, you're going to want to go over to Trezor, the Trezor website, trezor.io and click on wallet. Once you do that, it's going to load up the Trezor wallet website and it's going to say connect Trezor to continue. So this is where you connect in your Trezor with the USB into your computer. So I'm just going to plug that in. Then it's going to prompt you to enter your pin. So we're going to enter our pin here. Okay. So once you're now logged into your Trezor wallet on the website, you're going to want to click on your account and you're going to want to click on receive. So now it's going to show you a address here that you can use to copy and then paste it over on the Coinbase website. So I want to click on show address and it's going to ask you to please check this address on the Trezor just so you can verify that everything matches up. So I'm going to verify this on my Trezor here. Okay, perfect. Everything matches up. So I'm going to click confirm on my Trezor. So now I'm going to take this address. I'm going to highlight it and copy it. Once we copy that address, you're going to hop back on over to your Coinbase wallet and paste that address in the recipient box. That's the address where you're going to send the Litecoin to. So from here, I'm going to choose how much do I want to send? Let's say that I want to send one Litecoin. For example, I could click on one Litecoin. It would send the full one Litecoin. Likewise, if I want to send a certain dollar amount, I could do that as well. So let's say I want to send $50 worth of Litecoin. I would type in 50 and it would transfer the equivalent amount of Litecoin to that address. So, but for this example, I want to send one Litecoin today. So one Litecoin, and it will show you how much you have in your current Litecoin balance, 1.44. So I want to send one today, one Litecoin, which is the equivalent of $224.50 at this moment in time. As you can see, there is a small network fee, seven cents. So in total, I'll receive this much because there is a very small minor fee to send it. So if you want, you can write an optional message. Next, you'll click continue. Okay, great. Next, it's going to ask you to enter your two factor authentication code. If you have this linked up to your Coinbase account, which I definitely recommend linking this up to your account for security. So I'm going to enter that code here. I'm going to click confirm. Great. Your transaction is on the way. You sent one Litecoin to an external address. All right. So now it's just pending because it's waiting for network confirmations. But if I hop back on over to my Trezor now, go to transactions, it will show that I have received the one Litecoin. My balance now went from zero Litecoin to one Litecoin. And it's just, it's unconfirmed because it's waiting for at least six confirmations from the network. This might take anywhere from five, 10 to 15 minutes, depending how congested the network is at the current time. So I'm just gonna wait here. Right now it's 1.05 PM and I'll let you guys know when it goes through. So while we're waiting for that Litecoin transaction to go through, let's say that you wanted to send cryptocurrency not to a hardware wallet, but rather to a mobile wallet. Well, let me show you how to do that. It's a very similar process. Again, you would go to accounts, click on the cryptocurrency wallet you want to send from. I want to send Bitcoin now in this example. So I would click on Bitcoin wallet and send. Okay. And again, it's going to ask you to send, enter a Bitcoin address that you want to send to. So one popular mobile wallet is called the copay wallet. So I'm going to open that up for you right now. Okay. So once you open up your copay wallet here, as you can see on your phone, now this is a very similar process for any mobile wallet, but I'm just going to use copay in this example. So what you want to do is open up your mobile wallet and click on receive. So if you click on receive, you'll see you could either scan a QR code or you can copy this address right here. And you're going to want to take that address and hop back on over to your Coinbase wallet and paste that receiving address. So let's hop on back over to Coinbase now. Okay. So here we are now back on Coinbase. 
All you have to do now is paste that address. So it's again, just like the Trezor hardware wallet process, the same thing. You go copy your mobile wallet address, paste that into the box here to receive it. And again, you're just gonna choose how much do you wanna send. And from there, you just click continue. And again, from there, it's the same process as it was sending to the Trezor. So it's a very similar process. So you can see it's very easy to send whether you wanna do it to the Trezor or to a mobile wallet. But let's hop back on over to Trezor now just to see. Let's refresh the page here. And I think it went through. All right, guys, so it's actually been about 20 minutes now. And if I go back to my Coinbase account, and I refresh the page, you'll see the transaction has officially gone through. It's now completed. It's completed right here. The Litecoin has gone through and back on my Trezor. Yes, it has gone through. The transaction is complete. So that's really how easy it is to send Litecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, or any other cryptocurrency that Trezor supports from your Coinbase account to your Trezor hardware wallet. Or likewise, you can also follow the same process to send it to a mobile wallet. I definitely don't recommend leaving too much cryptocurrency on an exchange such as Coinbase or another cryptocurrency exchange. For the most secure long-term storage, you definitely want to transfer your cryptocurrency to a hardware wallet such as the Trezor. Now, if you would like to see how to transfer cryptocurrency from your Trezor wallet back to your Coinbase account or to another exchange, feel free to check out my Trezor transfer tutorial. It's a video I made on how to do just that. And that pretty much sums up today's tutorial on how to transfer your Bitcoin and other cryptocurrency from Coinbase to one of your wallets. If you have any questions about the Coinbase transfer process and how to transfer your Bitcoin to another wallet of yours, feel free to let me know your questions down below. I'm always happy to answer those for you. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.